Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In this episode, we are gonna create, since it's the end of the year, I thought I'd give you a quick little gift here. We're gonna create something awesome in JavaScript. So we're gonna create this animation where the text kinda animates in. But the cool thing is it animates in letter by letter rather than the whole thing. So you might see this on fancy websites out there. If you go on awards.com, it's gonna pop up multiple times. Now you can use GSAP and other things like that, libraries, but who needs that? Let's be honest. Our life is easier if we have the knowledge in our soul. What? And before we get going, I do want to say happy holidays to all of you and a happy new year because this is going to be the last video of this year and we're going to get started fresh in January. I'm excited. Hype beast. I also want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. If you're interested in programming, design, editing, maybe drawing or playing the piano, that's what I'm currently doing. Uh, Skillshare is an awesome online platform that will help you do that. Again, I'm currently learning how to play the piano and the reason why I'm doing these different things is because I feel like if I experiment in all of these other creative fields, I feel like I get more creative in my field. Uh, so don't be afraid to branch out and experiment with different things. You might be surprised how good it is. Uh, thankfully, they gave me a link in the description. If you click on that link, you're going to get two months for free. So you have nothing to lose. And the annual subscription is going to be less than $10 a month. So give it a shot. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this episode. And let's, let's do the little animation thing, shall we? Hello there, fancy people. So let's get going. I just created three files here. All of them are empty. Empty, like my Christmas presents this year. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just generate a file here. This is gonna be called the fancy text animation. So I'm gonna say fancy. And all I'm gonna do here is just add a H1 with a class of fancy. Okay, and this is gonna say fancy schmancy. Wow, amazing. Okay, so this is all we're gonna have here. All we're gonna do is just link up the style.css and our app.js. So let's link that and let's link this. How do you do? You do script. Nah. Eh, why you do this? Script source app.js. All right, so we successfully linked all of these together. So as you can see, I don't have anything in these outline. What is this? Okay, so let's go to style.css. I'm gonna open up our live server, which is currently on the other screen. Thank you. I'm gonna drag it over here. And here we're just gonna do some basic stuff and nothing too crazy. Just remove these styles and margins and just so we can see everything better. Padding zero and box sizing both a box. Like that, okay? I'm just gonna grab the body, add a background of black to it black good and just grab the h1 and just style it up a bit we're gonna do color white like that font size we're gonna increase it in increase it to 4m and then we're gonna do a font family of sans serif from red dead redemption okay text align the center yeah i'm not gonna do flexbox i am cool today so how do we align this to the center here well we can use line height line height and we can say 100 vh and bam bada bim bada boom wow amazing all right let's close let's make this smaller i'm zoomed in okay that's all we need so here's what we're gonna do how can we make this animate like one by one well currently if we grab the h1 there's no way to do that so what we're gonna have to do is take everything here and transpose it transpose is that a word or transform it to e to spans so all of these individual letters to become spans and that way we can animate each individual span okay so basically what we want to do is just have normal text here in our index.html but with the javascript we're gonna transform this okay and then we can do that what Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab the text, all right? So we're gonna say document dot query selector, and we're gonna say fancy. Okay, then what we're gonna do is, this is the DOM element. So we want the text from this, because if I console log text right now, you're gonna see that that's, that's not what I want. Console, look, we have H1 here, class fancy. I wanna get the text fancy schmancy. So what we're gonna do is go here and say const string text, I'm gonna name this, 
and I'm gonna say text dot text content, okay? And this is gonna give me the actual fancy schmancy. So if I console log string text, you're gonna see OBS fancy schmancy right there. Okay, now that we have that, what I wanna do is split it up, create an array of each individual letter. So the way you can do that is you can say const split text, I'm gonna say, and set this equal to string text dot split. And I'm gonna split it by just adding a pair of uh, quotes there. So if we console log this, split text, now spit the text, and uh, you're gonna see that we have an array which each individual letter and a string. Okay, that's good. So now what we can do is we can say, we can create a loop. So we can say for let i set this equal to zero. And then we can say if i is smaller than split text, so the array dot length, all right, because we want to loop over everything in here, I can say i plus plus like that. And in here, what we can do is say text so the actual text, the h1 up here, we can get this and we can change the inner HTML. And what I wanna do is add a plus equals because I wanna add to this plus equals and I'm just gonna create a pair of quotes. I'm gonna say span. So we actually generating a span in here. Span plus split text and I'm gonna add the i. All right, so it goes through each individual letter in this loop split text being the array, right? So we get the each individual one here and just add it inside as a span. Okay, so split text i plus, and then we can do another pair of quotes and we can just close up this span like this, like this. Hit save, let's see what we have. Okay, so now it repeats itself as you can see right there. Now, if we take a look, if we inspect with the Elementor, we're gonna see that, ooh, look, we made everything to a span. However, we also have this H1 here, which we don't want anymore. So what we can do is just go up here and just say text dot text content and literally just reset this to nothing like that. All right, and that's gonna get rid of it. So now we just have the span. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, amazing. Creative, creative, Ed. You're so creative. Um, so now what we can do is we need to create some kind of interval, all right? So some kind of loop, uh, not, not loop, something that just boom, 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 starts putting in the letters one by one. So the way we can do that is we can create a let character. I'm going to set this to zero and we can create a timer like this. I'm going to set interval, all right? So this runs every some amount of seconds. I'm going to create an on tick function, which we're going to add in a bit, and I'm going to add it to run every 15 milliseconds. Okay. So now we can create that function function on tick like this. And here, what I want to do is basically add a class, uh, add a class to each span. So we can say const span, and I'm going to set this equal to text dot query selector all. Okay. So we're actually getting the spans that are generated up here. So we get those spans, we get all of them. I'm just gonna say span like this, and I'm gonna add the character here at the end. So we get each individual one from zero all the way to the finish, okay? And after we get those, we can say span, splan dot class list, add, and we're gonna create a class of fade, which we're gonna add in just a bit. Then we're gonna increase the character plus plus, right? Because this is gonna run every time, so every 50 milliseconds, uh, we're gonna get the first span in here. So this one is gonna add the class to it. And then it's gonna go to this one after 50 milliseconds, add the class to it, and so on and so forth. And since we're increasing this character, it's gonna loop over it. Okay, so after that, what we wanna do is not let this run forever, right? Because eventually we wanna stop after it goes to the end of it. So what we can do is say if, we can say if the character triple, triple equals split text dot length. So after it reaches the end, I can just add a complete function here. Whoa, complete like this. And we can return. Okay, so let's create that complete as well. And here, what I wanna do basically is very simple. I can just say function and complete. No, what am I doing? Function complete like this. Here, what I wanna do is just clear that interval that I made. 
and the timer. So this timer interval, I want to clear it. I don't want this to run anymore. And I'm just going to reset the timer and set it equal to null. Okay, and that's it. So let's take a look. As you can see, all the fade classes get added one by one. Boom, 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 boom. And this stops. So nothing's happening here anymore. I don't get any errors as soon as it reaches to the end. It's done. Okay, but we need a class of fade. So now all you need to do is literally just mess around in CSS and create the effect that you want. So I can say span. Uh, let's do opacity zero maybe, like this. And then let's add a transition of all of 0 0.4 second T's. Okay, so now I can get that span fade and just do whatever I want. Span fade, I can do opacity one. Okay, keep it simple. Hit save. Let's take a look. Boom, take a look at that. Nice. We get the fancy animation. So you can mess around with this. You can change the transition here, maybe add one second. That's gonna give you a different effect. I actually kind of like that more. Uh, what we can do is move it around so I can say transform. Translate. <laughs> Why you do this? Why you do this to me? For real. Translate Y. I can move this down by like 50 pixels, then down here I can move it back to zero pixels and it's not gonna work. You know why? Do you know why? Save. Nothing is gonna work. Why? Did you watch the CSS HTML course? No? Shame on you. I'm joking. <laughs> it doesn't work because the span is an inline element. So we can change this to display inline block and then it's gonna get the ability to move up and down. Inline block, hit save, and now you're gonna see that we get this, whew, wow. This is kinda slow actually, so we can change this to 0 0.5. Save, bam, there we go. So that's cool. So you, please experiment around with this. Uh, what you can do is just create any class that you want and just add it in your JavaScript or just mess around with this. One I thought that was really cool is maybe changing the color of it. So rather than doing all of this, I'm going to get rid of everything here. Uh, let's clear this up and clear this up. You can also do something like, oh, actually, I want the transition here. So let's get rid of these. Uh, maybe you can just add a color change to it and it's still going to look pretty cool. So let's do a bluish color. Just like something like this. Take a look now. It kind of fills up with that blue. I'll fill you right up. Yeah, fill it in, baby. There we go. Wow, magic. So that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Next year, I'm very excited to start the tech channel. It's gonna be very fun because this is, I'm very passionate about this and I'll try to make it as unique as possible. We're not gonna be like, this phone has an octa processor, six gigs of RAM. Wow. Like, share, and subscribe. So we're, we're gonna avoid that, we're not gonna do that, and we're gonna do real life reviews and real life discussions about how I think and how I feel about certain things. All right, I will see you next year. Jingle bells. Okay, that's awkward. I'll just leave the room. <laughs>